Careful measurement of the tripod lashing location is critical. Place two base poles 24 inches apart to aid in tying this knot. Determine the length of support pole you need above the lashing and make a small mark with a pencil, in this case about 15 inches. Align the marks and begin the lashing. Tie the lashing towards the two outer short ends to ease in tying the lashing. Twist the short end of the clove hitch around the length of the rope to hold the hitch in place. Continue the lashing as required. Notice I used four wraps instead of three to hold the poles more securely. Remember, wraps can be a little loose, but fraps must be tight. For leftover rope, go ahead and tie multiple clove hitches. It just keeps things neat. If the short ends don't align fairly closely, flip the center pole back over and align the wraps as appropriate. Start with two equal lengths of rope wrapped around the support pole to tie the lashing pole together. Wrap the lashing pole up and over and then cross the ropes and back. Wrap the lashing pole three times, then finish off with a square knot on the support pole. Support the tripod lashing two to four feet off the ground. The base of the tripod should be fairly vertical. This will aid in attaching the top tripod. Place the second tripod lashing through the triangle base of the first tripod. The tripod lashings should be no closer than 4 feet and no further than 5 feet away for this design. Begin lashing the top rail on the inside of the upper tripod lashing. The upper tripod will be twisted slightly compared to the bottom tripod, so you'll have to support it properly. Now is a good time to recheck your measurement between the tripod lashings.
The lashings should be in a direct vertical line with each other. Pull the top of the tower into place vertically with the use of these secondary ropes. Support the top of the tower with a jack stand. Secure the tops of the base tripod to the legs of the upper tripod. The front floor joist, pictured here on the bottom, must ride on top of the side joists as this will support the ladder. Make sure the floor joists are slightly above the ends of the bottom tripod. The front left facing pole is the flagpole side. Use round lashings to attach the flagpole to the upper left support pole. Also use round lashings to lash on the lantern support pole. The floor lashing goes over the pole on the outside, then under the floor joist then over the pole on the inside, and so on. This design shows the floor near the front. We will put our floor in the center. 